Hey everybody! Well today I thought I'd take another crack at one of these Tamo2 robots from Kotobukiya and Maru Toys. So it's a nice little model kit of these cool little, I think they're like maintenance robots. I don't know what it comes from. I'm guessing it's some kind of an anime, a Japanese anime or something. Now I built a similar model to this. It was the skeleton version. You can check that video out if you'd like. But this one here is the cool white version and it's kind of a more uh, souped up version. It's got like these leg extensions on here. And it also has this new piece that goes on the top. It's like a new tool thing. Now on the box here, it shows it displayed with this the little display base. It's got little lights and stuff. This doesn't come with that. I'm guessing that's something you have to buy separate. But uh, I just love the way these little robots look, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to try this version. On the side of the box here, we can see more details of this. So there you can see what he looks like, the way his wheels lay flat. And then here's the back end of him. Over here, you can see how that lower part of the wheel actually extends out like that on the skeleton version that I did a video on. Um, just that part of it is extended out. And here you can see <laughs> how the whole thing looks. It's really cool. So he's almost got like a double leg system now. And then this whole upper section is really cool. There's all kinds of different equipment and stuff up there. It looks like he may have a claw there on the right. And then I don't know what's going on in here. There might be another claw over here, but the whole thing opens up and it's really cool. And then if you want, you can display him without all the white shell pieces on. And you can see the uh, underside of him, but I'm not going to be displaying him like this because I think he looks really cool having those white panels on there. So I'm not going to be doing as much painting on this one because you're never going to see a lot of that stuff on there. But it's nice that they give you the choice to display him like that if you want to. Here's all the parts that we get for this kit. There's definitely more in this one than there was in the skeleton version. So here we got the really nice white uh, panel parts. They go on the outside. These ones are new because this has the new extended part on the top of him. So we didn't get those in the skeleton version, but these ones are all the same as the skeleton version, which is the, the legs. This is interesting. On the skeleton version, on the what I call the tail lights, <laughs> um, you had to put that, you had to paint those red. On this one, it looks like they just give you the red translucent pieces. So that's kind of cool. There's some clear ones there. That's the bottom more parts up here that makes up his body. Here's these and more over here that's probably the extended legs. I do wish that these were rubber wheels. That would have been really cool if they could have made the wheels rubber. That way they can turn and he could roll. I think that'd be really neat. But other than that this kit looks fantastic so I guess I'll get started on it. Okay so something I just wanted to mention while building this thing. First of all I am just amazed at how well engineered this is this is. I mean, I, you know, I did the skeleton one. If you guys saw that video, uh, the skeleton version is clear. I like that these ones have the, the white uh, shells, but the tolerance on these are, is so good. I mean, look how good these pieces fit. The white shell on the outside, this one fits so good on the front here that you almost can't even see it. That little panel, I mean, that looks so good. I'm absolutely floored at how well engineered these all are. They look so good. But anyway, I, I am really loving these kits. Just thought I would share, you know, I wasn't able to uh, notice how good that was with the skeleton version, because since these are all clear pieces, you don't really see it. But man, you really see it on these, these more opaque pieces on here. It looks really good. All right, well, anyway, really enjoying this build so far. And here he is all finished. And this was another fantastic build. Absolutely love these models. They are so well engineered, I can't believe how good everything fits together. No fuss, no muss. Um, this is the way models should be designed. There's no excuse in this day and age that we can't have models that go together nicely without fighting it and, and having mismolded pieces or pieces that just weren't engineered right. This is, a, this is an exact kind of thing that I think that most people would enjoy when they're building a model like this, but um, <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. So I ended up painting some things underneath that I thought was going to show, and then after I put some of the panels on, uh, they didn't. So I ended up doing a little extra painting on it, but that's okay. So I did uh, put the silver highlights here on the legs and right there, and on the also up here, and I also put a little bit of copper right there just to kind of break it up a little bit, which I think it looks really cool. Back here, I also did the same copper treatment that I did on the skeleton version, just to bring those vents out. A little bit of silver here. I like those tail lights, uh, the way the red is looks in there, and that little kind of orange. 
It's almost like a little turn signal, is <laughs> what I'm guessing that's supposed to be like. Same thing going on on this side. I really love this whole apparatus that's going on on the top here. A little bit of silver here on the side of his head. Headlights, uh, put a little silver behind there to make those look like they're kind of shiny. His head does turn. You can turn his head. Well, this thing is kind of in the way, but you can see that the head is turnable, just like on the other ver version. Um, this one does roll. I like that they actually made the, the wheels roll like that. I didn't know if that was going to be the case, but it, it does work with these anyway. Not the ones down here. These ones are just like the originals where they don't roll. But um, it's nice that they uh, have these ones work. Uh, here's the bottom. I really like how the, uh, the little design is in there. I just kind of pretty much did the same thing. Just silver highlights here and there. Black in those tiny little rectangle shapes. Instead of uh, copper, I did uh, silver right there, but that's what the whole bottom looks like. A little bit of uh, copper up here as well, which to bring out those uh, little grills, but I think it looks really cool. All right, let me show you some of the cool functions that he has. All right, so let's start with the legs here. So um, the only difference on the legs is this extension piece here, but you still have the same... Um, ability to pull these legs out like this and you got that fantastic hinge that's working in there there is so many amazing bits of articulation on this thing which you would not expect from a model but it, it is just totally something that works with this so you can actually extend his legs out even more so look how cool that looks <laughs> you've got this kind of weird looking <laughs> thing going on here and these kind of pivot as well. You can turn that so that it's more, you know, angled straight. Yeah, you know, it's really neat the way that works. And there is some detail going on in here that you can see. Um, it's kind of like, a, I did put a little bit of the silver in there just to kind of, because I knew that was going to show. So I don't intend on ever taking the plastic uh, shell off because I, I really like the way he looks with that. But you can take all of that off and expose the interior if you want, and then you can just kind of go crazy with the paint if you want on the inside. But I really like the whole leg mechanism there. It's really neat. So you can really make him stand up tall or whatever you want to do. These are totally bendable either way. All right, so let me show you what this cool thing on the top does. Okay, so now the way this whole thing opens is pretty cool. You first pull these out, pull these forward. See how that clips right there? And then there's a little pin that holds these ends together right here. So you just kind of pull this apart like this. All right. And then you pull this out like this and this. It just slides a little bit. There's a really cool sliding mechanism in there that works really well. And then you can open this up. Now look at all this crazy detail going on in there. I did paint some silver highlights in there just to kind of help bring out those little circular areas. Uh, the little grill work back here, a little bit of copper as well down here. I like that looking, that uh, kind of grill looking thing right there. It looks really cool. There's all kinds of detail in here and it's an amazing amount of articulation on this considering that this is a model. So now what you can do, we'll do this one here. You can actually uh, lift these up. See there's like this hinge right here. And then this can bend here. And you can extend all of this out like this. This whole thing can turn this way, and it can turn this way, and it bends on both sides. And what else is really neat is this thing extends out, just like this. So it's got an extension, and then you've also got this cool claw. So you can up these claws, and you can actually grip things with it, because it's got a nice uh, amount of tension in there. But you can see how that whole thing kind of works opens and closes so yeah that's opening that uh, extends like that there's just so much going on here it's almost hard to remember what all this does same thing over here can't remember how I uh, open this oh here we go all right and this and then this can extend as well and then more claw action going on look at these you can you can actually uh, pivot those down, up and down the way you want. I've seen accessories that come with this. You can have them holding um, suitcases and stuff. There's a, an action figure of a girl. I, I don't know, if, I think this is either an anime show or maybe it's a video game. I don't really know for sure. 
But look at all that. It can, the whole thing can turn. I, there's so much stuff going on in here. It's crazy. So it was a pretty elaborate thing to uh, put together. One thing I did screw up, so hopefully uh, you won't make the same mistake, is right, um, right on this part here. See, there's a little pin sticking up. And it goes inside the little hole right here. Well, I put this piece on backwards so the pin was back here. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get the arms to lock together. And that's why. <laughs> but thankfully, you can just pop that off and just flip it over. Thankfully, it wasn't like a big thing where you had to take the whole thing apart. But look at that. You can really see how he looks when he's got all that stuff coming out of there. Very uh, articulated, cool-looking worker robot. There's the turnable head. Now that I can reach it a little better. I think you can pull this up and it'll pivot a little bit as well. But it's really cool. And then when you want to fold it all back up, you just kind of push, uh, close these, push that back in, and then you just collapse the, uh, the whole thing. See how that all goes together like that? I mean, it's, it goes together. It just works so well. You wouldn't think it would work this well, but it does. And then when you put it back together like this, you got to make sure you got the uh, claws all the way in. And then this kind of slides in, and then you push it back. I can get it to lock in place here. Let me see, which way did I have this? Hmm, sometimes you have to push that panel back in too. All right, and you can push these up and down as well, so they're even. This should go in. I'm not sure why I'm having such a hard time with this. Looks like that's not down all the way. There we go. All right, I guess I, this panel kind of slipped. All right, and then that pin inside here is what holds those together. So you just kind of snap them together. And there you go. You got the whole thing back together as one little thing. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of fumbly uh, with the whole thing, but you know, I, I just put it together, so I don't have much practice with messing with it. But you can really see how much stuff goes on with this thing. I, I don't know how they figured out how to do all that, but it's really well engineered. It's amazing how you can do all that kind of stuff going on with that. When you're finished with the model, you have these extra pieces left over, some extra clear lenses, some red lenses. These pieces here are to make this little kind of... Uh, it keeps, I keep thinking it's a weapon, but it's actually a tool. There's a little claw. So if you watched my skeleton version of this model, you'll know what I mean. Uh, this, the skeleton version had clear panels, of course. So you can make it look just like that one. In fact, it's kind of like two models in one. You can get the standard um, uh, Tamotu that has just this thing, or you, or you can have that extra piece at the top. So you have all the parts that you can um, use to make that whole thing go together. So here are the two of these side by side. You can take a look at how they look. So uh, that's that piece right here that I was showing you earlier. That's the part that you can add to this because this thing actually just slides right off. It just comes up by pulling it straight up like this. And then you can add all those parts to the back of him right there to make him look like this one back here with that same kind of thing. But this whole thing is just a part that slides on. And um, I think it's really cool that you can add or subtract parts to this. It's totally customizable. I mean, you can make these things completely the way you want. You can add whatever kind of accessories to these. And uh, the front panel can come off here and you can add stuff. Or you can add things to these little holes and also uh, the ones on the inside if you take panels off. So it's, it, there's just an endless amount of different things you can do with them. But I think these are so cool. I just kind of came upon them by accident one day and I thought they were really neat. So this one here, I found it on Amazon. It's $10 more than this guy. I think this guy's $35 uh, and so are the other color variations. And then this one with the extra stuff going on here is $45. So he's, he's $10 more, but that's also because you still get all this stuff that goes along with it. And so it's almost like two models in one. But uh, I think it's a good deal for that. These are, I'm sure, imported or whatever. But uh, I like that this one rolls. I kind of wish this one had the rolling wheels too, but I like that they added it for this one. But yeah, a lot of fun to build these if you're interested in getting one. Um, they don't take too long to build. Well, 
took me all day, but that's because I'm a slow builder. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and there's no fumbling with it, no fighting, and I, I love it. It's a very enjoyable experience. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.